Hello Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reading focused on Gemini season and what's coming up for you. What is it that you need to know? I'll be pulling from these two decks here, the Angels of Romance Oracle as well as the Twin Flame Journey Oracle, Jennifer Aquarius Tarot and Mystic Moon. And I'll of course clarify with my own tarot deck. So let's get into it. General advice as always Taurus, so please keep that in mind throughout your reading and take from it what makes sense for you personally and release the rest. All right, so here we go. Gemini season predictions. What is it that needs to come forward? We have overflow, happy and love, joyous and content. That's beautiful. So hopefully, if you're happy right now in your partnership, that can continue, okay? We do have transformation, a change is taking place. So if, for example, your love life just isn't going the way you'd like, it does seem that possibly during Gemini season, things can start changing and transforming so that things can be better. Okay, so let's grab one more here. We have hopeful, spiritual healing, rekindling of love. So that's actually really nice. For those in separation, there's the opportunity, it seems, for you guys to rekindle the partnership. And just overall, it seems to be a very good energy. So I'll be pulling from my Celestial Cosmos Tarot. This is a brand new deck here. And of course, I will link everything down below in the description box. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Gemini season for Taurus. Let's see, what else do we need to know here? So there's the opportunity for change and for better. Ooh, look at that. The Hierophant is your own Taurus energy. Okay, so there's something pretty significant here as far as your relationships and somebody who's fully diving in, ready for commitment. Some of you guys could already be married and things are hopefully transforming into something better, as I've mentioned. For those of you who were already in a committed partnership, either married or not, this is a partnership that's very special to you. You love this person. There could have been some commitment issues, but it does seem here that that's a part of the transformation, the change that's taking place for some of you. You could also be dealing with a Libra here. We do have the world card coming through focused on fixed signs. So Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and once again, Taurus. So there's something here, Taurus, as far as the cycles that are happening in your life, it is completing. So that's a part of the transformation that's coming forward with some pretty positive energies there. We have the Two of Pentacles. Perhaps entering into Gemini season, there's this need to make better use of your time. If you've been procrastinating, doing something, whether that's related to your job, your career, your life purpose, and of course your relationships, time management is crucial. It represents sometimes taking on too much. You know, if you've been juggling way too many things, perhaps Gemini season is when you can be more organized, you know? And I love how we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in. Again, picking up off of fixed signs, and you are a fixed sign, Taurus. So this represents your destiny. This represents that things are turning around for you for the better. That's the, the transformation that we do see here. You're heading towards a much better direction from where you've been, I feel, Taurus. That part of the journey for you looks pretty good. If things have been more on the challenging side, whether pertaining to your love life, your finances, your relationship with friends, maybe with family, any of the challenges that you've had to confront, there is this hope that is coming through that you will be able to overcome those challenges. You will be able to restore balance in your life once again. There are new doors that you can open, as well as doors from the past that need to close. And you know which ones that represents. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some additional messages here 
from the Twin Flame Journey Oracle for Taurus. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. What else do we need to know? Heading into Gemini season. So some of you guys are in separation and that's hurting you. It's broken your heart, you know. So that's also a part of the transformation that you're going through, which is healing. You know, that's already presented itself here. Spiritual healing to be able to come back together. So even though you might not be with your person right now, we've already seen a reference, the possibility that maybe during Gemini season, you guys can rekindle the partnership. We do have understanding. We do have reinvention. It makes sense for me that you would be going through this grief and sadness and loneliness, especially if you are in separation from somebody that you care for very deeply. But this is telling us that you're working on yourself. It, it could also mean that should a reunion happen, you guys would be on the same page. There would be a mutual understanding between you and this person of what you expect from the partnership through a reunion, you know, whatever it is that you guys need to talk about so that you can get onto the same page. Let's go ahead and grab some tarot from my Taniello tarot deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Taurus. There's healing for sure that is needed. Let's see. What else do we need to know? For Taurus entering into Gemini season. Six of Swords. Yes, this makes sense that you are transitioning away from what hurt you, the separation. You could be dealing with a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this represents perhaps a divine masculine. As we can see here, they have a very curious mind. So maybe they're wondering, divine feminine, if there is the opportunity to be a part of your life once again, or wondering, you know, have you been since the separation? How are things with you? And they're wondering, you know, is it possible for us to move forward from whatever challenges you guys have dealt with? This could be confirming that you did walk away from somebody. It could be because of that decision that you guys are in separation, but it still hurt you to go into separation. We do have a masculine coming in as the King of Cups. I feel this person, especially if it's been a while since you've seen them, maybe they've matured, grown up a little bit, able to come towards you as a better person. They could have also taken the time to work on themselves. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Soul searching, reflecting, thinking. You know, how can they possibly fix this? I feel that downtime was necessary for the two of you, Taurus. It was needed in order for healing and to come to a better understanding of the situation and the partnership and the relationship. It hasn't been easy. We do have nines here. Nine of Swords representing nightmares, depression, anxiety, feeling despair, feeling hopeless. It's a pretty heavy energy. And then we've got grief right here. You guys could have felt the same way, that this was a very difficult time to be in separation, but possibly necessary, you know? So through this soul searching, I feel when the time comes for you guys to reconnect and to talk things through, that you'll be in a much better mental space to be able to iron out the issues so that you guys can find happiness once again. So I, I love how the sun card is the last card presenting itself here because you guys are moving forward away from the challenges, the obstacles, the drama, whatever it, it was that created this separation. You guys can reconnect if you guys can get onto the same page and to be able to rebuild the partnership for things to work itself out for you guys to come back into union and be happy again. All right, guys. So that's what is presenting itself here for Sag Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Gemini season. Where did I get Sagittarius? Gemini season. That's what's coming up for you, Taurus. So hopefully there's something here that resonates with you, 
helping you to heal, helping you to be prepared for what the season has in store for you. All right, guys, I'll leave it there. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below. See you next time.